Um, but yeah, so we're switching over to Urza now. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's very true. Like, you have to surround yourself with better players. Um, it was a very real thing that I encountered um, back when I used to play um, League of Legends a lot. I needed to. Let's just. I needed. I wanted to become better at the game, um, and I just couldn't. All right, so we're gonna uh, talk real quick about that. I'm running Eli Castus's list. Um, so it's got one of each relevant fetch here. So the breeding pool, the hallowed fountain, the steam vents, and the wider grave, all of the which are blue, because that's our main color that we gotta be very aware of uh, is blue, red, and then either white or black. And in the main deck, we pretty much just need, um, you know, Jeskai colors, or so blue, red, and white. Um, Adventurous Fair is in there. We have four Deltas, four Tarns, four Islands, one Mountain, one Swap, and of course they are the Snow Variety. We also got one Spire of Industry and one Adventurous Fair. Four Baubles, four Moxes, two Galblasts, two Stars, two Cages, two, uh, one Spell Bomb, two, uh, one Needle, one Pyrite Spell Bomb, four Lades, two Engineers, four Thopters, one Icker, two Swords, one, uh, two Tefries, two Bridges, um, four Urza, and uh, two words and then uh, in the side here we got a ceremonious rejection thought seizes pyroclasms nature's claim uh, two tesserets three trophies a graph digger's cage a pithy needle a damping sphere and a spell sky um, and Eli Cassis has a great, great article about uh, why he has the deck the way it's set up and why he chose certain cards over other cards. So highly recommend reading that. It was one of the first things I read um, because there are some cards that people were like, you got to go with this card. Um, and I did just update the um, stream decker. So we're going to jump into a league with this deck. Yeah, it's interesting. So, like, a lot of lists are on, like, the four engineers instead. He did tweak this to tackle Hogak specifically. So, with Hogak getting banned, I'm going to be bringing this list to um, to Dallas, and I'm going to be tweaking it. I want to bring in, like, an Aether Grid, um, I think, in the main or in the side. Um, and that I knew that was the first thing I wanted. Because when you get infinite combo in the main, like, you actually can't win on the spot. Um, you just have, like, a billion life, billion tokens, and a billion creatures and you know in infinite mana but the infinite mana doesn't really matter um i think we're gonna keep this we can power out a bridge pretty fast so against a good amount of decks that's gonna be worthwhile throw against hogak specifically this hand's actually just like nuts right Okay, okay, we're going against Adnaz. So we can Pithing Needle them. And that should be pretty good. They're hitting some lag. So we definitely got to get our uh, we're on a pithy needle as fast as possible. I might have to restart this in a second here. It is seriously lagging. Just get ourselves a snow island. Run out our spell bomb. Run out a cage. 
They need six mana, so they probably are killing us the next turn. Pyrite will want to keep up, take up the, uh, the alchemist, right? Like this is a two drop, lab, or lab maniac. Yeah, it's a two drop. Sweet. Do we want to draw? I think so. Their graveyard's irrelevant, and we could use an extra one. We don't need that artifact for war. Urza is also sweet here. Run out Urza. Okay, we can't run out Urza, because if we run out Urza, we're going to have... Um, we won't have enough mana to do, because it's going to cost us four mana, and then we'll get the, uh, the Golem. So Golem, Cage, and Spellbomb would only let us generate three, so then we wouldn't be able to do it. So let's just run out of Tarn, and we'll pass it over. right now sure crazy I guess it was just for value yeah I think it may have been correct to war in response I'm gonna war right now I was curious how deep they were gonna go Just confirming that it's lightning storm. Yeah. So they can still go for the lab kill here. So it may have been... Yeah, we probably should have... Yeah, they can do the, uh, the lab plan um, if they have that option available to them. And if they do that, we can't actually stop them. Yeah, I should have waited. Well, I guess not, because if we would have waited, Pact would have stopped us. And we couldn't keep uh, red available. Yeah, because we don't have red to shoot it. I guess if I would have started off with breeding uh, the, the blue lands instead of playing out that Avengers Fair.
Alright. We got it. We did see their entire deck, and they do have both wind guns, of course, so. Alright, so I think we don't actually have a cyborg plan for this one. <laughs> um Thoughtsies for sure. Maybe the trophies. I think the other needle damping sphere are relevant. Uh, I don't think we need to be grinding at all. Claims and maybe as well. I think uh, rejection's probably too narrow. So cards I know we're instantly cutting are the cages, the spell bomb, the bridges. I like Tefres actually because it stops the um, ability to cast the spells at instant speed, um, including their Lotus Bloom. Icar Wellspring, we don't need to grind out at all. Uh, when I'm bringing in more co like colors here, so I'm going to green here, I usually like to keep chromatic just in case. We don't really need to uh, have multiple copies of Sword of the Meek. We just only need one here. Urza's fine to trim, I think, because it's too slow. And then I think I'm going to trim in just one mox. No. We need the moxes. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think uh, I think that's very reasonable. So let's bring in the rejection. Galblast is probably still good enough, right? Let's trim one star and the, another Urza and just bring this and just work on the plan of stopping them. We're gonna, we are going to be hitting a lot of good targets here. This was one of the things we, uh, Nick and I were worried about when we were figuring this out. This hand doesn't do anything. Um, when we were figuring out our plans, we were like, are we overboarding? Because um, we felt like we were. I'm going to keep this. And I'm going to ship the uh, hollowed fountain. I think I'm just gonna go get breeding pool, shock. I'm just gonna needle right now for lightning storm. Love a Tepri. Sooner or later. <laughs> Ooh, damping sphere. That works too. I'm gonna go get a snow permanent here because I don't want to run the risk of not having the necessary mana later on to cast our um, our labes so and we can crack our bobble now to draw Take a look what they're working with. Serum vision. Hmm, that is kind of awkward. We'll just pass it over.
I would still love a Tefri off the top. Rejection here would be pretty cool too, Tony. Or we can just draw all of the sideboarded trophies. Totally reasonable as well. Just want it. What do they got going on? Pentad, sure. I wanted that rejection. Oh, that's funny. They got to uh, get an extra mana because of the uh, tax from the damping sphere. I am going to hit that. I gotta work on my luck. We're gonna spoils? Okay. They exiled their lab maniac until they hit wear and tear. Okay. So they have wear and tear in hand. did listen without looking. <laughs> we also don't have another um, another land because they failed to find, right? Should we be hitting their uh, bloom right now? That way they're restricted down to just three mana. Or should we wait for them to crack it because they need to crack it in order to actually cast the uh, the wear and tear. It's probably no. It's probably just worth it to hit that right now. Yeah, we got extra trophies. Let's go for it. They can cast it, take out the damping sphere or the pithy needle. Oh, there's concession. Okay. So if we get the necessary mana, we're gonna be able to thought seize next turn. We can engineer as well. So this is good. Let's keep this. We're gonna draw the direction of this game. The one of. All right. All right.
Ooh, the other thought says, okay. Let's shock, run out the star, run out the bottle. I think I'm gonna bobble them because I want to see what they're working with. All right, we'll wait for them to scry. Bottomed it. Pentad. Bit of a bummer. That we have, if we crack this, okay. No, we're fine, we're still gonna crack this. Get the black source. Thought sees them. Let's do the ad nause because we can uh, we can pyrite the lab maniac. got the sword combo which is pretty good um, but let's run out the Thopter Foundry and then we can thought seize them and let's just take their win con put that in a plate tapped I'll pass it over Ah, call shot's great. All right, they have a wear and tear and a simian spirit guy left in hand. Let's go engineer. I'm gonna grab the sword combo. Because they should, uh, lightning storms are only a win con left, and so we just have to get above um, like 30 or 40 life, and then we win either way. And they're gonna have to take some time to assemble the combo. to sacrifice something well the lab maniacs right in the graveyard so let's float a mana here doctor sacrifice the pyrite spell bomb We're good to swing. I'm 
trying to decide if I want to Teferi um, and bounce our Goblin Engineer, cast a Goblin Engineer, and throw the Pithy Needle in the graveyard. But we probably don't have to. I think we're good to just go. It's Angel Grace. Ooh, they're doing spoils. Okay. What are they naming? Lightning Storm is gone. They're done for. That's match. Oh yeah. Starting off 1-0. Not indeed. Um, this hand has such potential because if we get an artifact to turn on the opal, we can combo turn three, right? No. Oh man, this hand's suspect. Because we can definitely go grab a steam vents, get engineer, throw that in the graveyard. Um. And then just basically try to get it from there. But I feel like this isn't good enough. Yeah, we're going to ship this. Alright, let's keep this. We can ship the pyrite. Inquisition, that's a bummer. Goodbye, Thopter. Let's grab ourselves an island. Lab. Drawing all the lands, which is not good. That's so mean. <laughs> How do you just... Like, they spoils turn two? That seems so crazy to me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a stone cold statement to make so fun. <laughs> no instance in the graveyard so we cannot do the gal blast can't do the gal blast anyway because we don't have three artifacts but oh man we are not getting what we're looking for mainly because we're just drawing lands <laughs> um snow permanent draw Another land. Wow, we are good at drawing lands. There goes our golf blast.
Okay, deck. Come on. <laughs> Come on. The amount of lands that I've drawn is unreasonable. Lost to Mitt Romney 2024. Oh. <laughs> oh. So we had thought that the, uh, the cards that are not relevant uh, that we wanted to bring in was uh, <laughs> uh, Pithic Needle, uh, Spell Sky, and then both Tezzerats to just get the heavy grind matchup going. Oh. And then we wanted to cut out the cages because we didn't think they were great here, obviously. Um, we thought about cutting the uh, both opals because usually they're destroying our artifacts and whittling us down. So we're just going for like the grindier matchup. Acre Wellspring is one of the best cards here. Um, so that's what we went with our cyber plan. If, it, if you guys think differently, let me know. We, we, we made this on the this week, so. Okay, this is good. We'll keep this. We got the combo in hand. So you just got to get the mana for it. All right, let's run that out. And run that out. Right, let's see what they take. If they take Engineer, we'll change our fetch. If they take Foundry, we'll change our fetch. Yeah, with well, the way we drew last round, we definitely should be just cutting three lands. Gosh. All right. So with that, we'll go fetch up a... Um, we'll fetch up a Watery Grave here. Because we want to be able to cast Tezra if we get it later on. Run out the foundry. And the next turn we'll run out the spell skate. Sure. Totally reasonable opponent. This was one of the adjustments that I'm going with the original uh, option we had here, but this is one of the adjustments that I thought uh, thought we should be bringing in the trophies for. Um, because we have to rely on the Gal Blast now to take out that oof. Oh, I played the wrong Ensnaring Bridge. They uh, knew about the other one. Alright, if we get one more land, we can have Urza, and Urza can just help us take over this game completely. Okay. We don't get a bridge. Ooh, okay. Did they have another one? No. I was gonna say. That is disgusting. We would really enjoy land. Mm mm mm.
One land so we can run out Urza, or a blue source so we can run out the Ren and Six would be pretty sweet. So if we can get Urza, we can also work, which is awesome. Because they're going to get a lot of value from that peatland. Oh, and a lily. Oh, what is more important here? I think we have to ditch the were and see if we can get a land. And if we do, we can run out Urza and then try to just grind them out with the uh, ability. Okay, great. I'm not going to shock ourselves anymore. I don't want to take any extra damage. We got a land. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, they're gonna down take Lily, make a sacrifice our contract. I'm sure. Come on, baby. trophy that was so unfortunate it's the first game that oh, the second one we expected that to an extent but man that first one unreasonable amount of lands unreasonable So I was told that Burn and uh, Dex Light Burn, obviously, um, are some of our worst, worst matchups. So let's see how true that is. Um, this was, by the way, my loss. Uh, what I lost to in the finals was a Burn player. So I know it's bad. All right. We're going to Galv Blast that Goblin Guide. He's about to grab me in the background? Yeah, a bit. He's promoting my stream. It's awesome. Alright, let's take out the Swift Sphere. It just represents much more damage. Do they know? Yes, they do. They, they're, they're well aware. They've accepted it at this point. Y 
Yes, let's throw the sword in the grave. And then we can... Take one. Island, run up this cage. I want to be able to whir and still have mana left open. Yeah, I mean, that's very reasonable. <laughs> Tech 3 is such a problem. I think I'm okay to block. I don't actually care if this creature dies. Alright. So one, two, three. We get out Urza. It's only worrying for th one. Hmm. We need to work for two. But we still want to do this because we still want to get hers out. Right, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we have no way to generate another mana. So we will pass. I don't think they're going to ban Teferi in standard. Is it back to our turn? Oh, that's fantastic. That was dumb of me. Took damage for no reason. One, two, three... Four, five. I'd be really mad at myself if I killed us by casting that bobble for no reason. Really mad at myself if I just killed us for no reason. for no reason at all oh my gosh that's such a punt that's the worst oh. oh I can't believe I just killed us we had the combo we won the game <laughs> oh okay just double checking that there's nothing else I can do here uh, there's not. <laughs> oh, man. So what, we can do this. Sacrifice to returning the sword. Sacrifice this artifact. And then die. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Oh. Oh man, we had the game. We won that game. <laughs> oh, and we really need that too, because it's a terrible matchup. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. 
Cages. Uh, spell bomb. Oh. Uh, I think we said bridge as well. <laughs> uh. And okay, cages, bridges, um, and the pithing needle. All right, we're bringing in the clasms, the spell skite, and the nature's claim. And I'm bringing in the um, the trophy here. Well, we should have won that. <clears throat> All right, we can dump out our hand and drop this bridge turn two. So I think that's good. That? Who punts the game like that? <laughs> oh. I don't even want to draw the card here because I want to uh, just have as low of cards as possible. Um, blue, the Mox, Bridge. Uh, I think we're running out the other Mox. No, we can't, we can't go down with less than what we have, so... Uh, we'll hold it for one more turn. Uh, crack this. Island. Boom, boom, boom. That bridge, labor. Uh, that's for two. Yes. Get Doctor Foundry. One. We're gonna sack our opal. Get one. Opal. Take two. Nothing can swing anymore. And we'll pass it over. We get a sword, an engineer, another Whirr, or an Urza. We're going to be all very happy with any of those draws. Seal of Fire. Sure. Generate a mana, sacrifice our star, draw a card, and make a dude. Okay, I want to smash that. Can't do anything about that. Draw. Oh, and there's the sword. All right, so I 
if we go Icker and we don't um, hit something we can play, we'll run into the problem of getting attacked, so we'll just pass it from there. Block with just one. I want to equip the sword here. I got a borrow, nope, rift bolt. Cast Icker, we're gonna go to five, and then we get hit with Seal and Rift Bolt and lose, so we can't do that, so we'll pass. We just need any burn spell and we're dead. We need you to completely whiff on your Lambda stage. They did not. It's interesting that they're running Seal of Fire. Mm -mm -mm. Punted that one for no reason. This is good. We've got combo in hand. We've got some interaction, some redraws too, and some acceleration. They're down to four cards. Got the Urza. Okay. So we've got the combo in hand. We do need a, one more mana. Um, so, see if we get to keep it. Okay. Looks like we actually. So, Hogak is considered um, by the person that made this list that it's one of our best matchups. So, we'll see if that's actually true. Um, let's run out the Thopter. Foundry, and then run out the needle, and we're gonna name Carrion Feeder. All right, we hit a land off the top. We win the game. Also a mox. If not, we'll whir and go get the um, ensnaring bridge out of the deck. I 
that's awesome to hear that you're doing well against it. I thought people were off of Amulet for a bit, thinking that it was because it wasn't good against Hogak, but if you're doing well against it with your build, that is awesome. Alright. Nothing there. So, let's go blue, 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 or tap. Done. In snaring bridge. All right, so we'll stop the Hogak from attacking. And if we can't, we're just going to run out the sword and start making tokens. Okay, no, we're good. Oh, that is very true. Uh, that we should be doing it on their turn so they can't force us. But I would be so, like, this is game one, right? So, like, I'd be blown away if they did force us. like they're making us go through it. So then we just have to make enough tokens to kill them on the next turn.
All right, we got 19, so we'll just sacrifice a few more. I don't feel like flipping over my deck to show them anything. I don't think they have anything to keep up with us. All right, and we'll just pass over from there. Okay, so they got Creeping Shell. So we've got sacrifices a few more times now. Uh, 10, 25, 30, yeah, okay. God, I thought I clicked on those. Ugh. show them much but it's fine I don't want to show them the cages or the spell bomb if I don't have to. They should expect it, but still. Okay, they finally conceded. Alright, so for this one, we had said that we would want to... Uh, oh no, you know what? Hmm. We definitely want to bring in the cage. And the claim, because we should be expecting some hate. Trophies. 
And the spell skite is what we had decided. Uh, we were cutting the pithy needles, but pithy needles are actually kind of important because it stops carrying feeder. So let's see if we can make some adjustments to this. We don't need the grind for the Icar Wellspring. Um, we don't need both Sword of the Meeks. We can cut one. And, yep, cutting the sword for that. Um, the Time Bravelers, we had decided on cutting, but we didn't really see, because uh, we could see that we uh, don't necessarily need to like, bounce their Hogak or anything like that. They usually go wide enough. We did uh, say that we should drop the needle, um, so we don't need that there. And then drop this needle, and then drop the bla one blast. Raveler is good for bouncing Hogak, and needle is good for... Uh, so we could keep it if you think, and then we can cut the other Gal Blast here. As, um, we had also talked about cutting Goblin Engineers. Because they're a slower, grindier card. But I think I want to keep the Engineers because we can go find our uh, hate spells. Uh, let's cut one Urza. Because we just need to hit our hate spells and then we pretty much lock them out of the game. This hand does not. This hand's slow. It does have the ability to bounce the Hogak, and then we can start making some tokens. We're only one card away from having the combo win, so let's try it. If we get Engineer or we get uh, Sword, we have the combo. Yeah, and uh, they're down to five cards. Um, and Teferi does also bounce the Ley Lines, which is sweet. Yes, actually, uh, we talked to him about this, and uh, he and I both agree that this would be a sweet deck for him. Ooh, and we got a Mox. Sweet. Alright, let's run it over. I didn't realize they ran Creeping Chill. I, am I... Is this different? No? Yeah, I definitely feel like they try to multi lay line. And... They still get a Hogak turn two? No? One more card? And then Hogak. Nice. If we can get a bobble, we actually just bounce it back to their hand, which is hilarious. Nope. All right, they're on two cards, eight, 10, 11. We've got a... So we can go boom, black, that. All right, we'll pass it over. Take a big hit. We can either go Urza here. If we go Urza, boom, boom, boom. We can't. Yeah, if we go Urza, we can't um, bounce the Hogak. So we'll just bounce the Hogak.
Not a bubble. And then we'll run out the tarn in case. We're probably gonna block that blood gas, gain a life, and then only take one. Two, effectively. So we gained the life. Yay. All right, let's block the blood gas. All right, they have the land. That's fine. Is it worth it to shock ourselves? No. Dude, tap that down, play the star. We'll pick that and play tapped. And I think we're good. Trophy Urza, that's fine. All right, so let's sacrifice that. We're not actually gonna block the supplier. I don't really want to. I'll take the one life loss. I don't really want to give them three cards. Sword. Cool. They can see it this time. Yeah, yeah. All right. Last match of the night. Ah, uh, this is fine. We're against Hogak, we're in a graveyard deck. This is pretty sweet. We're gonna power out Foundry and then we'll go from there. The two losses was to burn and to John. The burn loss was because I punted the for game one. We should have been going to game three. Um, died for no reason. So, pure stupidity on that one. Oh man. It's 
feeling like a lot of lands again. Yeah, it really is. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any ways, uh, if you know of any ways that rather to help improve that matchup, let me know because I'm gonna be taking this deck to, um, yeah, burn, um, mono red Phoenix and green Tron seem to be the worst matchups. And I have a feeling people are gonna be pretty heavy on mono green Tron as soon as Hogak gets banned. So the problem with Witch of Orb is I feel like we're not going to get it out that fast because we don't actually generate that much mana that fast. He has gone to two spell skies in the side. That's sweet to know. I'll have to make sure to see if I can get my hands on an updated list from him. Cool, cool. Got another land. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Worm coil we can deal with. Yeah, Skype just seems uh, really solid. Thopter sword at least. Yep, Needle for Olestone would be pretty fantastic. I think we can concede this one. Alright, so we thought the uh, thought seizes that nature's. Um, what was it? Let's 
Ceremonious Natures, Pithing, Thought Seizes, Damping. Now, my teammate didn't think we should be bringing in um, the trophies, but I like the trophies. And what about the Spell Sky? Is that worth it to eat up a Karn activation? Not worth it, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we didn't think the Galvalast, the Cages, the Spell Bombs, the Ensnaring Bridges were worth it. And I don't I don't know if we really need Icker Wellspring. That's usually for the grindier matchups anyway. What do you guys think about that swap? Let's run with it. Rejection. Foundry. Yeah, okay. I'm good with this. We're really hoping to catch a map on turn one. But we're willing to settle for a star or a sphere. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going for the turn one rejection. Yeah. Got the trophy. All right, let's see what made them think about this hand. Were they on a one lander? No, they're not on a one. Tower. All righty. Well, we can go filter that and tap that for any. So we don't need to pay ourselves any life, and we're just going to trophy them. Technically, can do this uh, and draw a card, but yeah, that way we save life, I guess.
Sylvan scrying. He said, not even a problem. We will form Tron. Us, on the other hand, not so much. Okay. So let's go that, that, that. We'll make a white Tefri. Okay, you have Tron, you have eight mana, what are you gonna do? Feels like an Ugin. Ballista? Worm coil. And a ballista. Ho 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 ho! Oh, we're savages. All right, so blue, blue, black, blue, Urza. <laughs> They make us go through it. Yeah, we would want to 
uh, go until we hit, um, I think the trophies, take the Moftron, hit both of them, Needle, take O-Stone, and then we'd also have to name Ugin, because they can wipe our tokens and our uh, combo. This is the unfortunate part of playing this online when people don't want to concede, for you know. They're definitely allowed to not concede. Yeah. It goes well. My opponent is currently not conceding to the infinite combo.
feels like they had a nature's claim, so they felt they were still in the game. Oh, this opponent. Uh, I you can't see so, um, I'm I did try to see if you would it would let me do that um, And as far as I can tell it won't let me uh, set that one to always yes Okay, he does have a claim in hand so we'll take his claim. Unless I'm missing the part where it actually lets me, I can clear the, turn off the auto. So I'll pay the mana, sack the sword, here it's, it says it only lets me always yield, so I'm yielding to it, and then I press OK, and then it lets me return it. So he can't cast anything but the, uh, um, but the land, and there's no, uh, he doesn't have O stone in hand. So I'm just going to pass it to him at this point. And then just kill him with the swings in the air.
Because he either gets Tron and doesn't do anything, or he doesn't get Tron and then we still win. So uh, I'm just going to flip one more time. Nothing. And I'm just going to pass here. Sure. You can add two counters on your Ballista, make it a 3-3, and then we kill you on our turn. So they're just like really trying to waste time. Alright, let's run it back. Oh, does he? Done. Made that swap. Is that just so he can find a pithing needle or a damping sphere uh, better if he needs to? Or I guess on some interactions you may just go on the beatdown plan. Yeah, faster clock. That makes sense. So this hand doesn't interact with them at all, but we have a combo kill in hand. Get a mox, that'd be really sweet. Trophy's not bad at all.
Patel Puriacondo. Thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. We're getting up, we're getting up there in followers. We're up to 134. I'm digging it. Numbers are climbing ever so high. All right, they got a forest. And a map. Um, we could... Um... Okay, so they can map, but that can't do much, so let's just run out the engineer. Throw the foundry in the graveyard. They don't actually have uh, Tron until turn four, so we might be able to kill them by then. You know, it's pretty impressive with us burning like, what was it, seven minutes on comboing. Uh, we're still only a minute behind them. We're going to trophy them on our turn. Yeah, I think that's the plan, but they also just don't, they just didn't do that, so. I'm trying to decide if we still trophy here now. I think we have to. I think we have to just, uh, we can't let them have Tron. So I'm going to go star and I'm just going to shotgun this breeding pool. Unless we're willing to risk it, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to trophy the tower.
Because that's the one they searched up with the stirrings. And they have officially caught us in time. I have no idea why our opponent's playing so slow. Okay, so we've got the combo. They claimed our sword. I imagine they'll pop this relic.
attack. Let's try and it's Karn. Well, let's see what they're working with. That's gone. That's gone. It's not a needle or an Urza. Urza would be quite good. Urza into needle would be even better. This right with how fast he's flowing, with only like one card in hand, he's still going impressively slow. Sure. 
And I'm pretty sure what that worm called, that is game. <laughs> we can at least stabilize. Make this a five five. Well, that is it. And that'll be a match. All right, well, that was a bit of a disappointment ending to the league, but I don't think I'm too disappointed. All right, well, everyone, that is it for me. I am, like I said, I'm going to be gone for a while. Um, I have Dallas this upcoming weekend, and then we have Magic Fest Indy, so I won't be back for three weeks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make any content. School does start back up until then, so I'm. you might not see me for a bit. If I do come back early in by any means, I'll definitely jump on, but I think that's going to be sporadic at best, if at all. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me tonight. Have a wonderful night, and we'll see you all soon.